Tristan, tell us about the event coming up Friday night. Um, Ajanice Johnson, uh, who's sitting right here with us, um, is going to be performing at Caps and Flask. Um, she's going to be performing two songs that Santi Cortez, who, like myself, is a Suffer Springs High School alumna, and um, he has decided to produce an album that 50% of the profit goes to the artist singing and 50% of the profit goes to a family in need in Hopkins County. Um, and which, uh, when I heard about this and he asked me to help him, I was very much excited to do because, you know, Suffer Springs as a community is all about helping each other and raising each other up. Um, we recently saw this on, on a national level um, with The View. Mm -hmm. Um, with the Little Fours, um, I think that's what it's called, Little Fours. Yes. Um, and so um, it's giving back to the community, and that's why I wanted to get involved. But Aji's here. She's had a phenomenal career for her age so far, and she is an amazing artist, an amazing singer, and a fabulous human being. And I'm lucky enough to call her my friend and best friend. And But yeah, I'll let her kind of give you about her. Yeah, tell us about yourself. So um, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I am a songwriter, singer. Um, I started off doing background singing for a couple of artists. Um, one in particular was Usher Raymond. And then I started writing music. And then now that I'm a little bit older, I decided to venture out and decide to um, write for myself. And basically, it, but doing that, of course, hearing about the giving back situations and everything like that, I always was like, I wanted to give back. So this is my way of involving my talent with community service. Now, you interested in Meta College? Yes. Did you work together, collaborate together on anything um, there? We did the movie. Yes, we did the I, movie. I wrote a film script called We Dance, and now it's actually being turned into a novel. And she was very instrumental in helping me write this script. Uh, she came up with the music for the um, trailer for it and um, there's several things we collaborated on from my mm -hmm. directing and I, to this day I call her and I'm like what do I need for here? What, what can go in this spot? And she's very much a good um, soundboard where we can like conversate and help each other out. Yes. Tell me about your music style. So it's very different but it's um, I do a lot of soul and R&B but at the same time, like, I like to involve different cultures into it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like, if I know that, if I have an ear for something else, if I hear something like country for, let's say, and let's say I like what somebody did in one song, I could be like, hmm, let me involve this so people can have a brighter interest into like, okay, somebody's doing an R&B song, but they added this and this too. And then it makes it like, hmm, let me look at this artist as well. Cause I like to involve different artists into my music, so then it's, I don't know, like a little bit more open. Tell me about the music you're gonna do Friday. So, I'm gonna do some old school, cause you guys love old school. So I'm gonna do a lot of old school um, soul music. I'm gonna do a couple from the album that we're working on now. And then, let's see, I'm gonna do some R&B too. Just mix a little like sprinkle on there. <laughs> Excellent. Tristan, I, I talked to Santi earlier today, and he was talking about uh, uh, the fact that he he's written a lot of the music. He's he's you know he's putting this together. Um, uh, he couldn't be with us today, but but talk about his vision for this. You know, Santi is this <laughs> amazing person. I, I've always said that Suffer Springs, we may be little, but we produce some of the best artists I've ever seen or worked with, and. Um, the first project um, Santi and I started working on was when I got hired by Colleen Hoover to um, produce and develop and help co-write her play It Ends With Us, and he was going to write all the music for it. And he has such a giving heart. His heart is pure, especially in this industry. We were talking about this yes. last night. This industry can often be cutthroat, cutthroat mm -hmm. manipulative, but he's doing it for the right reasons. And this album, he saw a need and he wanted to fix it and I think that's admirable that someone says let me write this music let me get artists who need to get out there and their names to be out there and um, let's create something that helps people um, I think the best art helps people and there's other people on this album from Sulphur Springs uh, Caden Davis I can't remember what what year he graduated but he's singing on it and he's fabulous too so Santi's a very quiet fellow I, I, I I feel that he throws a lot of feeling into what he yes. does. 
his music, we, we were just listening it at lunch. He sent me one a few days ago, and we were listening to it. And it's very emotional. Um, even the instrumental part before an artist really gets in, it tells its own story. Um, as a director, when I'm trying to underscore a play, that's what I look for. And that's why I've always wanted to work with Santi, is because his music doesn't need words to tell. But when you have a voice like Aji and these other artists that are going, it's this layering upon layering of like the human experience, and it's really cool. Um, As you do this performance Friday, uh, is this is this a first step in some other things that you're looking at doing? Yeah. Yes. Of course. Of course. I actually fell in love with this town, so. Um, since he brought me from Michigan and everything, and then I came down here for a couple of days, and I was like, wow, like this town is mighty. And like, it's amazing to see a town give back so much. And it, so, how can I say this? Like, yeah, like he told me that he wants to do a lot of different things before he goes off to school. So I was like, I'm down for it. Especially when it comes to giving back, I'm down for it. So especially when you can put on different performances and give back at the same time like I'm all open ears for it <laughs> and go. we have we're we're currently working on Janice and I and a few of the people in the city on creating a concert soon to give back to the fine arts in Sulphur Springs because if it wasn't for places like Main Street Theater and our fabulous art programs in our high school you wouldn't have people like Santi going out and creating music or Hannah Kirby or myself getting to be blessed enough that because of this town, I've been able to do things that I just wouldn't have gotten to otherwise. So yeah, there's there's things on the horizon, and I can't wait. And I think I think the city will love it coming from here. You know, we love being entertained. I mean, that's why we just had we're in Dairy Festival. We love events, and we like coming together as a community. And I think this is just another way. You know, it's, it's interesting, Silver Springs is not really known for the artistic level of life that you would expect to find. You know, Northeast Texas is not right. you know, an artist colony, We're known obviously. for a few other things. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And, 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 but, yet, in, in, in this town, there is so much talent. Yes, there, there's so much talent. And we've had so many people go off. You know, we have people acting in L.A. We have people acting in New York City. And we have artists and mus just musicians. And, you know, it's kind of like that Shakespearean quote, though she be little, she is fierce. And I feel like that's very much a Sulphur Springs. You would never think that the art level here is anything. But, I mean, from a young age, I was immersed in the Main Street Theater. And, you know, our schools, you know, sports is a very big thing, but we also make art very big here. and. There was never a moment where I said, well, I didn't have an opportunity in Sulphur Springs. Because if there wasn't an opportunity and you express interest, someone made it happen here. Right. So that's part of this community. Being from Detroit, when you finish your summer gig here, are you looking to go back there? Or what are your, what are your plans? So um, I, have a, I actually have a show coming up in DC once I leave from here. And then I'm supposed to be go to Atlanta, and then hopefully I can be back home. But I'm probably going to be right back down here for another event. So um, I, I, I travel a lot, but I love to travel because I hate staying in one place at one time. So, right, right. yeah, that, that's always exciting. Mm -hmm. Always right. exciting. Well, and she got excited last time. She was on the computer trying to find a place to move down here. Yeah, <laughs> so. I did. I was like, oh, let me look at. <laughs> she loves it down here because you know she lives in Detroit and it's small town slow mm -hmm. life but it's also it's something vivacious here mm -hmm. that keeps it going so. let's talk about Friday night again uh, you've got two specific songs that you're doing but you're gonna do more yes yeah. so um, the two songs is the ones that I'm working on Santi uh, working with Santi with and those are gonna be the two songs that's gonna be on the actual album that's gonna go towards have proceeds go to a family mm -hmm. so those are the two main songs but hopefully we can put a couple more in there but I'm definitely performing the two other songs and then we're just gonna send it off to people at what time will you be on stage it's the show is from 9 to 12 okay so and it's at Caps and Flask on yes. Davis Street, right across the street from Muddy Jake's. So.